lot of first things this week. Uh, first semis, first final, first victory on the Masters series. It was a special first for Marin Cilic. Two weeks ago, Cincinnati witnessed the Croatians' first ATP World Tour Masters, 1,000 title. It uh, feels amazing. I'm, I'm really excited to, to win this trophy. I played really good this week. Definitely really happy with the win. There's a first time for everything, and for Cilic, it all began when he picked up a tennis racket at just seven years old. I was uh, at that time just at the perfect age to start tennis. I think it was my parents' wish to, to uh, you know, put me in some sport. Uh, they haven't had uh, you know, many chances when they were young. My father wanted myself and all of my brothers to, to play some sport. His first guiding influence was a Croatian legend. Goran Ivanisevic became Marin's mentor and then his coach. Goran's involvement in my career at the beginning, just pointing wise and uh, giving advice at the right, right time, I think was, uh, was just uh, what I needed. It was Goran who guided his compatriot to yet another first. The 2014 US Open became Marin's maiden Grand Slam title, catapulting him to the top of the game. I can see in the last uh, several years that competitiveness has gone a level higher and uh, it's just a pleasure to, to be among these uh, players on the tour and uh, of course uh, doing well. Recently there's been a change. A new coach in Jonas Bjorkman has brought a more aggressive mindset to Marin's game. Marin uh, called me, uh, asked me if I was interested to, uh, to join his team. It's a little bit of a change in the, in the men's game. Everyone is so good left and right, left and right, but it also takes a lot of energy. So you see a lot of guys more trying to come into the net, you know, be more comfortable uh, with uh, how to cover the court uh, after the approach shot and, and also to maybe be a little bit more confident in his volley. It's great that we are uh, partnering at this moment of the season here and uh, especially before the US Open and with such a good form, I believe that he can uh, bring a lot for my tennis, a lot for my game. He has uh, big knowledge and definitely has been uh, on the tour present for many years at the top. And so uh, I believe that uh, I can improve in uh, various uh, parts of my game and uh, just uh, looking forward for our uh, work. It was the first time in the semis of the Masters Series last week and then finals and obviously winning it. It just shows me that I'm a good, good point with my tennis. It was actually the first time he, uh, he made it to the semi-final in a 1000 event. But not only that, you go and, and get to the final and win the title. So I think that's going to help him a lot uh, down the road. I have been improving a lot in the last uh, two years and really looking forward for my uh, next few years on the Tour and uh, hopefully I can do still uh, a lot of great tournaments. And after Marin's first in Cincinnati, could there be a second title in New York? Uh, it's, it's definitely the best place uh, for me on earth, uh, where, where I played uh, my best tennis in my career. In a good form and coming back to the place where I uh, produced my best memories. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, the big one in the Big Apple. The 2016 US Open gets underway. And we've an exclusive with an American player making waves. Steve Johnson. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, powered by Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.